dribbling at the moment but the clouds are just looking quite quite dark and um, from what I can tell in the mountains it seems like when it's a rainy day it's a rainy day and um, I'm more concerned with safety of it you know I have a I have a worry about slipping on logs and um, you know wet grass and wet lumber and all that stuff anyway um, or I, I have a worry about safety when it's dry and when everything gets wet, I get that much more worried about it. Um, plus there's a lot of electronics on the mill, so if I can avoid it, I don't like to work in the rain. Uh, snow doesn't bother me. A little sprinkles doesn't bother me. I know everything is waterproof, um, but it just looks like it's just gonna be wet all day. Uh, so we're gonna catch it another time. He's gonna he's gonna keep an eye on it, uh, see if it clears up. Because uh, right now I'm looking over the ridge, it's blue. But a lot of times, you know, it just sits in the mountains, and it, you know the rain will just sit in the mountains all day. Um, so we're gonna see at least wait off, wait out a couple hours. So, yep. <laughs> all right, we're at it again. Had a rain out and heading back again. And I'm sure we're gonna get a rain out today. The weather was saying that around like 12 or one o'clock, uh, it's supposed to start raining like 80%. Uh, we'll see, it may not. Who knows, we're in the mountains. But uh, that's what it says. Uh, the sky looks kind of gloomy, um, but it wouldn't be the first time. I was expecting rain and it didn't rain. Um, so this was the first, or yesterday, not yesterday, Saturday. That was the first day that uh, we kind of, I kind of got rained out right in the beginning. I've been, I've had rain delays before, but it's, uh, you know, usually only towards the end of the day or, or something like that. Uh, there's been a couple other times when uh, it's been raining that day, but we've just canceled it before I left. Um, but I, and I kind of knew it, it was just, it was close by about 10 minutes away um so it was kind of i don't know i just went there and um the weather's a little different over there anyway so um it's kind of funny it's 10 minutes away but it has different weather um at any rate it doesn't matter i'm on my way we're uh, at least i know what I'm getting into this time it's i don't know eight or ten white oak logs inches somewhere in there diameter um, so we'll see uh, sorry about the footage from the last video I was playing around uh, well I wasn't playing around I was trying to get another camera or I got another camera that I don't know I thought it would be a camera but it was like a from the year 2000 camera um, you, know, you saw the quality that it's just um, so we returned that and ordered a dash cam and I'm liking the idea of a dash cam for several reasons the quality was looking uh, looking pretty good I mean obviously not the same as like a proper camera um, but uh, it'll be there it should like record the whole time and uh, it does record forward and me um, so hopefully it'll make doing this whole deal a lot easier I, don't, I feel a little sketchy um, 
messing with the camera. I don't mind talking. Talking is no big deal. I just don't like to mess with the camera when I'm driving. And I try not to, but you know, you can't not do it when you're, when I'm trying to do this. Um, so that should pretty much eliminate that, um, which I'm looking forward to. And I'm also looking forward to just having a dash cam. I, I do a lot of driving and I haven't had any issues, but uh, you know, they're, they're so cheap. I mean, I think it was like a hundred bucks for it. And um, even if I wasn't doing this YouTube and thing, uh, I think it's good to have just to, just to keep a record of something, just if something were to happen, um, you know, who knows. So I'm gonna feel better having that anyway. And if I like it, I'm probably gonna get one for Sarah too, just for that safety reason. So uh, any rate, hope it all works well. I'm gonna get the little doodad -doo camera out and um, see if I can film a little bit and show you the site and kind of what we're doing and hope it continues to be helpful. And um, thanks for watching. back got her done uh it was board and batten i can't remember what i said i said that before um so it was board and batten siding white oak the guy had it was a 16 by 24 building um which eight feet high basically 100 or sorry 80 feet uh perimeter um so whatever that is in board foot or square foot um so we had we were just run, you know looking at running feet and we got to around 130 or 140 running feet um plus maybe 90 or 100 batten strips and i tried to get some footage of it but the little camera thing died and and i, I was working so um went pretty good <laughs> until we got to one log where we hit three separate nails and you might say to yourself it's oak which well they were stainless all three of them were stainless uh, so they didn't have any marks any blue marks uh, at least on the end grain um, so we hit it yeah one of it was like a big eye bolt 
and they were we cut right I cut right through the eye and I should have taken a picture but I didn't because you know hey why why would I why would I take pictures of such things um, but I cut right through the eye so it hit two uh, two of it and it was probably three eighths diameter um, and we dug it out cut kept going was fine got to the middle and hit it on a little little teeny nail and uh, dug it out kept going whatever got almost to the end where there were like I think there were three boards left I was I was I was making that second to last cut and um, clipped the nail but I couldn't find it couldn't see it uh, so the only thing I could figure is the nail was sitting like this and, it, and the you know the blade just hit right at right along with it it, it dinged the blade up pretty good uh, but I couldn't find any nails so that's the only thing I could figure and it threw the that it threw the nail uh, out of the board um, and we just but we just stopped at that point because there was only two boards left and it was already kind of messed up and we didn't really know and it was like ah and he, he can use that um, that two inch thick stock he'll use that for something so it was fine uh, and then there was another log last log we did there was um, uh, there was some blue stain right at the center and I just boxed a six by eight around it um, just we had enough at that time we had plenty of wood for his siding project and um, it was just the last log and finishing it up so it was pretty good it was uh, about just under six hours well five and a half hours was the bill and then uh, uh, three blades that we went through we hit hit metal um, so his bill was 375 or sorry 385 for the 385 385 for the mill and, and then uh, three blades so it was 475 total and um, uh, however many board feet square feet I don't know it was somewhere around 1500 2000 board feet so I'll do that math it'll be here somewhere uh, if I remember um, but uh, at any rate uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope it's enjoyable or educationable or, or, or something worth watching worth watching at least uh, you made it this far so maybe uh, or maybe you're screaming at the screen no Uh, all right, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.